pen lovers and stationery enthusiasts, it's Christy here, Snarky Wordsworth over on Instagram and Reddit, and I am back finally with a new video for you. Also, I know I rarely show my face, but for this particular video I thought at least part of it might be more useful to have like a different uh, point of view. Anyway, today's video is definitely a little bit different from what I usually do. I know I'm almost always focused in on specifically pens, uh, fountain pen inks, and planners, and the goodies that go with those things. But today I have an unbagging and an unboxing of two items that are sort of like kitty corner to those interests. Um, I'm always looking for bags that will work really well for all of my planner stuff that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's planner stuff for work or just for like little adventures I go on on the weekend. And I like bags that like give me lots of opportunity to carry pretty much any kind of thing that I want that will be able to fit um, traveler's notebooks or, you know, sojourners or fountain pen cases. And sometimes it's kind of hard to find a bag that's not too heavy or too light and that is really convenient. So these two bags I am very, very excited about. Um, they're actually newer versions of bags that I've been carrying for years. I actually used to carry one particular bag from this brand um, way back in college in the very early 2000s. I was careful with absolutely nothing in college. Uh, it was my book bag and it's still kicking. I mean, it's still all together. It looks pretty solid. I mean, it's a 20 plus year old bag, but it still carries things and it still looks good. So it's definitely a brand that lasts. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited for these new versions of uh, what I think is kind of a classic and a really great option for people who like to carry a lot of planner and fountain pen stuff. Anyway, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get to the unboxing. Okay, here we go with our first unboxing slash unbagging. And I ordered this from Zulily and it's on a pretty huge uh, discount, so I figured why not? Now's the time, right? Okay, so you can probably already tell what company this is if you happen to be into bags at all, uh, or if you just happen to read the title of this video. I don't know. Uh, it's one of those things. Anyway, uh, so here we go. Okay, so this is a folded Longchamp, and this is their club line, which I'm sad to hear has been discontinued. Um, I'll show you in a moment uh, the difference between the original line and the club line, but what I really like is that the club line and the original both fold down into these super convenient little... I don't know, packages, uh, because this is obviously not uh, a tote bag as folded, but when you unfold it, ba -ba -da -ba, it magically becomes quite a sizable um, tote bag. This is actually um, what is considered a medium long handle now. Uh, when I originally got into Longchamp, this was called the small, but um, there's another uh, line with top handles where it got the descriptions kind of like super confusing because a bag that was smaller, this was at the time considered medium. And anyway, um, current times, <laughs> this one is considered the medium top handle and it's really, really large. Um, after I unbox the second bag, I will go ahead and show you from a different angle how big these are and just how much they carry. But this one is in their beige colorway. And when it has the beige, it has like this beautiful, like sapphire colored button and then the contrasting stitching and the contrasting blue sapphire glazing but it also has the matching leather which I really really like um as well as um just the nylon water resistant uh body 
And uh, I do carry a lot of leather bags and a lot of other messengers and everything when I uh, like to carry a lot of my fountain pens and things. But it rains a lot, especially in the springtime. So having a nylon bag is very, very useful. Having a nylon bag that folds down into a teeny tiny pouch, also very, very useful. So those are two big reasons why I love these. Uh, and I'll get to more of why I love them as soon as I open the other bag. Okay, if you couldn't tell, this box has been dinged to high heaven, but uh, I think it's still going to be fine. It's a nylon and leather bag, so it should be a-okay. And this one is uh, from the Neiman Marcus sale. I took advantage of like a couple of big coupons that I had through both Neiman Marcus and then through Rakuten. By the by, if you aren't using Rakuten and you buy stuff online, you 100% should be. Uh, it's super useful and saves me quite a bit of cash all the time. Okay, and here is my other Longchamp. This one is in a colorway that I don't usually find myself using or carrying a lot, but that's precisely why I wanted to get it. Uh, I wear a lot of neutral colors, grays, browns, beiges, whites, navies. So I thought like having a bright turquoise might be kind of fun. And again, super convenient because these bags one carry a ton of stuff and then also just hold up really really well over time and anything that will last a long time even when I'm not always that careful is very very nice for me anyway So this one does have the little Longchamp um, tags. Oh, and it, this is from the line that's made from recycled polyamide. But it's not the green line. If you are familiar with bags, the new green line has the little uh, tiny bit of green glazing on these little tabs. And you'll see this one does not have that. Anyway, so this one is the large with the top handles and it's in turquoise and I kind of love this color. I did not know for sure that I would, but it's really, really cool. And I think it'll go with a ton of the stuff that I carry. Uh, now this is the original line rather than the club. And you can always tell the original line because of the uh, British tan colored leather accenting. And then, um, yeah, it's just, it's just a really simple bag, but it holds a ton of stuff. Uh, especially once you get into the large. The larges are the ones that I use for work bags. And I have had, I do have one that I currently am using and have been using for, I want to say four or five years on the regular, pretty much anytime it rains and it still looks brand new. Uh, anyway, I just wanted, like I said, a different color and this one feels like a little bit more summery for me. So I'm excited to use that one. So let's go ahead and flip point of view and I can sort of show you, give you a better idea of size and how much stuff fits in these. Okay, so we just finished unboxing slash unbagging two bags, uh, the Longchamp Le Pliage from the club line in beige, and this is in the medium size, and then the Longchamp Le Pliage in the size large from the original line. Uh, and you can again tell the difference because this one has the British tan uh, leather accents and this one has the matching leather accents and then the contrasting button glazing. I don't know if you can see it very well, but this one's glazing and button are in a sapphire blue. And then the little, um, a horse with the jockey on it is also in the sapphire and you'll see that as soon as I open them up but yeah so they they come in these really convenient foldable sizes and that's great when you're traveling a lot uh, because I do I like to be able to carry my uh, traveler's notebook and my Hobonichi with me whenever I go somewhere kind of cool but Sometimes I don't have a whole lot of room outside of my suitcase, and this is really convenient to be able to bring something besides like your personal carry-on uh, with you. So being able to fold it, excellent. So when you unfold it, 
this remember is the medium size and it becomes pretty darn large um and i'll try and do like a mod shot so you can sort of see uh how it falls on someone who's pretty short i am five foot three ish uh, not quite but almost kind of uh but the the medium size is definitely my favorite like everyday carry bag size uh i can carry absolutely everything i need and i'll sort of show you with my current one uh how much stuff will fit in here but it also doesn't sort of like overwhelm me. My shoulder doesn't get overly tired. It's not like my work bag where I'm just like slugging it from my car's trunk to my desk. <laughs> no, this one you can carry anywhere and it's really, really comfortable. Uh, the straps are also like super duper comfortable uh, and they do wear in even more since they're leather uh, as time goes on. But yeah, again, I really like this color. I think it will work nicely for me for like spring and summer and if you want to see the exact same size but stuffed full of things this is the uh medium long champ le pliage in the original uh with the british tan leather and this thing carries tons of stuff like tons of stuff um and it's just it's just great it's just a really good size and it's really really comfortable and that's why i kind of wanted to have it in another color that would work but yeah let me unzip this thing and i can sort of show you everything that will fit so like obvious normal things a work badge and like a little key uh card wallet um my fountain pen, fountain pen case from lepis leather this is the one that carries the four pens my Hobonichi Weeks, my Traveler's Notebook in the passport size, and it's very chunky and it still fits in there just fine, my car keys and the car key case. Oh, I have like a little hair clip, hair claw. Uh, a Kindle. A little coach accessories bag that I usually just keep like hand sanitizer and other junk in along with a little tiny Longchamp coin purse that I actually use to house my earbuds and some other wires and stuff that I need for work uh, but that I would like to have on hand even when I'm jogging around not at work <laughs> and then of course my phone but all that stuff fits in this thing super duper easy no problems i still have plenty of space i could fit a water bottle in here in addition to all of that if i wanted to uh so even though it's not a large bag technically by label it is a large bag as far as capacity goes so you will be able to fit all of your planner stuff all of your fountain pen gear there's not going to be any kind of problem it's an excellent tote that is small enough that it's still like not overwhelming to carry with you on like little trips but that is definitely going to be able to carry a ton of stuff that you want it to carry now what's really cool about this new one so the original only has one teeny tiny front pocket which i've always kind of found not particularly convenient the only things that will really fit in there sorry i just jogged the camera i know that uh are my key case, uh, not my key case, my card case, and then my uh, work badge. Those are the two things that will fit in that teeny tiny pocket. My phone certainly does not. Um, I think the only phone that's going to fit in this teeny tiny pocket at this point would be like the little Samsung Z Flip. But the new bag has a very convenient large pocket. Um, if you're familiar with the club line, the large club always came with this large pocket, but now the little guy does too. So my phone will 100% fit in there, which is very nice and convenient, uh, as will all of the other stuff that we were just talking about. And just, just going to throw it back in here so you can kind of see what it looks like stuffed. But yeah, it's just a really, it's just a really convenient bag and I'm really happy to have it in another color. Um, if you prefer like a top handle bag, the uh, Longchamp Le Pillage 
short handle should in in the small size should probably fit you just fine as well and will be very convenient but yeah so this is the new one stuffed and for the little bags i don't even think that you need like um an organizer if you don't want to have one so some people will get will buy little like woolen organizers and I do have one for my work bag but this one is so small that even when you stuff it full it doesn't really get deformed at least mine never seems to and this one I've had for quite a few years and it still looks pretty much the same as it ever did it doesn't really warp the one thing I said I will say that you should watch out for if you are particularly not careful with bags are the corners. So the corners will kind of wear if you sort of ding them around a lot. But again, I'm not particularly careful and my corners have generally held up. The only one that's really showing much wear is the bag that's over 20 years old. And again, it's over 20 years old. We're all going to show a little bit of wear and tear at that point. Uh, but yeah, so this is the medium sized one stuffed full, but with plenty of room. Again, you can see there's still room for a water bottle. If I wanted to put my switch in here, I probably could. Um, I know that I have in my old one many times before, so it's a great bag and definitely large enough to fit all of your planner and fountain pen needs. Okay, onward to the Longchamp Le Pliage in the original. And this one is in the turquoise color and it's from that recycled nylon, which I'm really excited about. I love that the company is really looking at ways that they can go green and still, you know, put out a really solid, beautiful product. And I do think that this is really beautiful and I am really excited to be able to carry it. Again, I was looking for something much more summery than what I currently have. And I think this one is it. As mentioned, you can always tell the more original line from the British tan leather and then the gold accenting. And I actually think that the zipper is really, really cool. So let's see if I can get this to show up. That's their little logo. Come on, focus or not. <laughs> I have no idea, but uh, I do really love the logo. Uh, the original also does not have the stitched in logo like the club line does. So it's just plain, just the one color of the nylon going with the contrasting um, trim. And I really, really do like that look. And this carries a ton. As I mentioned, some of these newer bags are changing things up just a little bit. So I am very excited because this new large has both the giant pocket and the smaller pocket. So you can carry a little bit more stuff and separate it out without even having an organizer. Now with the large ones, I usually do because do carry a, an organizer of some kind, mainly because since it's for work, I just like to be able to uh, find things really quickly rather than having to search and fumble through. But just having those extra pockets in those particular sizes is going to be really, really useful and really, really helpful, I know. So this is the large fully stuffed uh, for work. The only thing that's missing out of this is my lunch. I usually will carry a lunch bag in here too. So you can tell it can absolutely pack in a ton of stuff. Uh, this is their club line. This is in Bilberry with contrasting pink stitching. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a darker color, one that I think works better for fall and winter. And I wanted something summery and springy and summery. So yeah, again, very large bag. And it carries a multitude of things. Um, so I have a full-size water bottle. This is just a hydro flask. I want to say it's the 22 ounce, um, but carries this one very, very easily. Um, a Angu pen case. I carry a handful of Tombos and some brush pens in here just on the daily that I know that I usually will use. Uh, during, during working hours. Uh, my Galen leather pen case. I always carry this with me. It's got, I think, five pens instead of just the four in it right now. Uh, one's just sort of like rolling around. But this is a great case if you are looking for a uh, an excellent uh, little fountain pen case. This is a good one to, to think about. Oh, I have a little um, 
Longchamp cosmetic pouch. This is the old fashioned kind. Uh, there's a newer little pouch that's like super duper popular right now. But yeah, I just usually carry like separated things. This, this is like my hair bag. So if I have like a meeting that I want to have like good hair for, I can like brush it out and everything. So I just carry stuff like that. And then I have scrunch scrunchies and things for when I don't really care. And I'm just sitting at my desk working on something. Um, I have another little pouch. This one just carries like miscellaneous stuff in it. And this is like a coach signature line, uh, canvas pouch. I have, oh, my card case this is just one that a leather one that I got from Etsy. I can't, I, I'm terrible, but I can't remember who I picked this up from whom I picked this up, but it's a really, really great case. It fits tons and tons of business cards. It's very useful to have. Um, a have you seen this wizard uh, compact mirror? I've had this thing for years. I think I've had this going on half a decade at least, but it's nice and it works well. It's a mirror. Um, I always carry band-aids because I cut myself all the time. I'm just accident prone. Um, hand lotion, uh, lip balm. Oh, fun post-its. Hey, if you don't carry fun post-its, you should. It's always something good to have. Uh, oh, and and a random vintage tin for a Scotch brand tape that carries. Actually, this was a gift from my work wife, uh, and she knows that I love vintage things, and she just put like this coffee washi tape in there. It's adorable tape. Um, no, won't you focus? Focus, please. No, no focus. Okay, but it's an adorable tape that I wish you could see, but my phone doesn't want to agree with me and does not want to focus. Uh, but yeah, I just always have that with me. I will swap out different washi tapes for in it. Um, it's not the most use. It, it it only carries one at a time, and I do have like washi cards that I I will regularly roll. But I don't know. I just like it as like a, a good luck charm, and it fits in the bag. Um, and then just miscellaneous stuff for work, like tax exempt forms and things like that. Uh, and then I have my work planner. Uh, this is just a Moterm in the A5 size. Uh, it's just a really good size for me. I use this constantly. I um, actually don't use anybody else's uh, inserts. I use two uh, dot grid inserts. One is a smaller one that is just like a brain dump for different programs and different notes that I need to take for things I'm planning, different uh, pop-up events, things like that. And then this is just the Jet Pens uh, Tomoe River Paper notebook that has tons and tons of blank pages. I mean, this is great. And I just make my own, I essentially like make my own weekly planner in there and that's proven very very useful I'm in my second quarter quarter of using it uh and I absolutely love it I think I'm probably just going to use the same uh once this book runs out but I don't think this is going to run out for another year uh if I've done the math right so excellent excellent choice if you don't mind making your own layouts that jet pens Tomoe River notebook is wonderful though I'm not sure it was like on last chance the last time I looked and I bought like three of them just so that I have them in case I needed more uh, but there are other companies that do the same thing and the same size but yeah a5 works really really well for me um and as, as I mentioned this is the Moterm a5 it was just it's just really convenient it's useful um it has the pen loop with the elastic which I always like because my fountain pens are not always skinny and they don't always fit in the pen loops and that irritates me. Anyway, that's the planner. And then as mentioned, I do always use a organizer in the work, the gigantic work tote. This one is uh, Z-T-U-J-O. I don't have any clue how to pronounce that. Stujo. Uh, but I just have it in the wool, the worsted wool color. And it's great. It has a ton of pockets. It does have like a big open space for like the larger items, but loads of pockets, which is very helpful to me. Uh, so I know that being able to use that in my new turquoise one with all of the extra pockets, uh, plus the two pockets that they actually included is going to be massively useful because this one, the club one only has that one large pocket. It doesn't have the extra front one. So I'm very, very excited about that. So yeah, I'm just going to transfer things over so you can kind of see what the big one looks like when it's fully stuffed. And hopefully I won't jostle the camera this time. 
no promises but yeah like i said the only thing that's not in here now would be my lunch and these bags are the same size so i know that my lunch bag will fit in here uh, but that's how much stuff you can fit i will say it does get heavy uh there's no way around that you carry a lot of stuff and it will get heavy there's that's just that's just mass <laughs> uh you can't really do anything about that uh but I will say that the shoulder straps on this are surprisingly comfortable for how much stuff I fit in here. Um, and if you are like me and you're just jogging from your car to your office and your desk, it's not like a nightmare in the first place. Uh, it's really, I, I think if I had like a long commute, like when I used to live in the city and I was worried about like the subway and all of that, it would be a very different story. But since I don't, I'm just car in it most of the time. It's not a big deal. Okay, so this is my new turquoise puppy. All stuffed up. Sans lunch, but still plenty of room. And it looks great. I mean, they're just really pretty bags and they're really comfortable and they're just really convenient. And again, that fold up option is super duper convenient when you travel a lot. Like say you're going to a conference and you know, you want to be able to have a small bag that you can just throw on your shoulder and hop from place to place. in. you can fold that up and then shove it in your suitcase. So it's not taking the place of your uh, personal item. Uh, like for me, I would take this probably as a personal item, have my little rolling suitcase and just fold this guy up, this little one, pop it into my suitcase and then have like like a little soft jaunt bag with me and not have to worry about toting this. Because again, if I have a lot of space, I am going to fill it. Like I will jam pack this thing full of stuff that I don't need. You saw, I have a tin carrying one washi tape. Why? I don't know. It's cute and I like it and it fits, uh, which is kind of like the story of my life with bags. But yeah, so these are my two new, planner and work bags and if you are looking for something that will work well for you that is a workhorse that can carry fountain pens planners and loads of accoutrement definitely think about long shop it's a great great company as mentioned i have one that's 20 plus years old and that i'm still using and that still looks pretty solid for something that's 20 plus years old uh anyway that is today's video. As mentioned, I have some ideas for future vids. And if this one was in any way useful, interesting, entertaining, please, please, please considering consider hitting that like button, maybe even consider subscribing. Uh, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. Thank you as always for joining me. I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.